written. Is this what it means to be a writer? Seeing blank sheets upon sheets which stare and leave me with no option but to tear a perforated piece of myself away. They claim my pain and cling to it, forcing me to watch as they take my thoughts to form an abstract fallacy, a brief unpermitted reflection of my normality, a reader's fantasy, and one that can't be taken back. I wait. Take a break, my calloused fingers scream, but patience is pain and the page has nowhere else to be. So tell me what my words mean. I remember when I heard that I'm the center of my friend group, the confident one that all will stop and listen to. And while most of the time that statement may be true, I'm about to say something most of you never knew. Sometimes my whole world is colored and blue, like a child's coloring book, and that child is you. Oh, there goes my sanity, away it flew. Oh, there goes my friends, there goes my crew. Oh, there goes my family, will I pull through? I'm left in my empty house, can't even brew my tea for two. For me, the spoken word is a fickle fleeting thing. A skittish creature of smoke and ash, it hangs round my mouth, tripping off the tip of my tongue, falling into my lap, careless with its ease. And other times it kicks my teeth out to form building bricks for the dam it builds in my throat, leaving me gaping and gasping like a dumbstruck, dumb fish, not lost for words, because they're right there, right there, blocking my vowels and consonants, a constant concentration of nothingness suffocating me, and yet... And yet other times, this creature, this elusive spoken word, is like dogs without horses, putting me through my courses, running me ragged until I'm hanging off the ropes, words pouring out my lax lips and spilling onto the floor, each sound punctuated with a punch to the gut as I drown in the words I cannot stop. Spoken word is a fickle fleeting thing, a skittish creature of smoke and ash, and maybe one day I'll learn to tame it. <laughs>